with Lorreen from Mill Creek Gardens. And um, welcome back. Good Thank to you. see you. Dirt, soil, not the same thing, right? Well, dirt's under your fingernails. <laughs> soil is what you grow great things we need in. To, we need to plant our things with soil, right? That's right. Okay, what kind of things need what kind of soil? Okay, great question. The evergreens like the conifers, okay, um, daphnes, and even some of the, the uh, deciduous things like um, your wisteria vine, your clematis vine, they will really appreciate this acid planting mix here, which I have a sample. And if you can just close up to this, this is really good, dark, mature compost. And it has a lot of microbial activity going on, which is what is the highway system between the soil and the plants. Okay. And you can even take some really rough, heavy clay soils, something that's really oh, tough been to like my this. House. Yeah, you see that? Um, there's even some sandy soils. I have a sample here okay. of sandy soil. And if you will take this, I'm going to just show you, and mix it about one third, two thirds of that sandy soil. Let me show you the example of that sandy soil being mixed. See, it's really sandy. And if you'll just take it yeah. and mix it back and forth, you will come up with some really nice soil. Can you see how that's developing into so some? Are you saying if the soil at your house is sandy, it's really you can sandy. mix it? What do you do you if mix, it's clay, though? If it's clay, you mix soil building compost in. You can also mix this planting mix in. This is good for anything. We also have a special one here for our edibles. It's called Harvest Supreme. Okay. It has some manure in it, as well as some other amendments that are great for growing fruit trees, berries, like these strawberry starts right here. They're awesome. You put, mix this in with your strawberry starts, you're going to have a harvest of strawberries this summer. I brought lots of vegetable starts here today. This is a wonderful mix of musclin mix. It's different lettuces and greens. You can mix it with kale. You can mix it with some red lettuces. Mm -hmm. um, this is um, Swiss chard right here. Here's some beets. There's golden beets. Um, they're wonderful. They're really healthy for you and they're beautiful in a salad and also to cook with. Here's just the well, regular beets. Let me See ask the you this. Is there one kind of soil that you can get for everything? There is. You can use the acid planting mix. In my opinion, here in Salt Lake, we have really high alkaline. Yeah. If you mix the acid planting mix in with anything, it's going to enhance your soil structure. You really want a lot of microbial activity going on. You want to be able to stir your compost, stir your soils a bit. And what happens is when you have lots of, of lighter material there and it gets wet and it holds more moisture, even in the wintertime when it freezes, it freeze thaw, it aerates your soil. So okay. that's an excellent well, thing. Speaking of winter, so our stuff has been all cold and hard and, you know, sleeping through the winter and now we need to wake it up before we start planting do we till it all in the in the beds you can first? but that's a lot of work what that's i recommend is for that. example if you back up here just a little bit i'm going to show you this rose this beautiful rose bush here okay and there's a special compost that's for roses and for flowers and it's called gardener and bloom rose and flower planting mix you mix that in the soil in the backfill soil you dig a hole a little larger and in the backfill soil mix it 30 to 50 percent whether you're planting verbenas anemones petunias marigolds anything this planting mix will help your plants bloom better it'll help them grow so much better you do not want to use just regular dirt in a container garden like this little vegetable garden right here this is full of lettuces and kales okay. for for a lettuce a, a salad garden you want to put really good potting soil and some compost mixed in there every year take half your soil out, mix new fresh soil in your container gardens, and you can grow a beautiful harvest. We have leeks and onions, it's time to plant them. The tomatoes and the squashes and the cucumbers, it's a little early for that, but get the Gardener and Bloom Harvest Supreme out for your edibles. Oh my goodness. And you come into Mill Creek Gardens and we'll tell you more about it. It's time to get planting in the garden, so come on down and see us where every day is a great day. Every you? day is a great day. Well, it's always fun when you come here. So remember, you can get the one, the one shot for everything, but you really do need to have something special for your your veggies, right? Yes. And your roses. Yes, and we also have bulk materials. You can get oh, some you can top buy, soil yeah. plus is excellent and also some fertimulch. That's a, a, a poultry compost that you can Here, mix in the soil. Here's what you do. You just go down to Mill Creek, you find Lorene, you find one of the specialists and you say, this is what I need and they walk you right over there and you get your stuff and you go home and you plant and for you're happy. Sure. It's for a happy sure. day in your garden. It's a happy day at Mill Creek too. Thanks for coming on. You bet. If you want all the information, just go to our website at forutah.com. Glenn, what's next? All right, that time of year. Coming up on tonight's episode of The Younger You.